Hi. It's DIY Life Hack Mama in her room whispering, trying not to attract attention. Anyway, my household is in the zone, the sleepy zone. You know, you're in your room, you're getting ready, you're doing whatever. My daughter is still lively. However, for those of you who are in bed at nine or before, and sometimes you want to drink and maybe you get tired of wine or whatever. I, I'm on vodka. Let me tell you why. Now, it's, this is regular 80 proof. You know, I go to the big box store and get my alcohol just like everybody else. I decided to make myself a tincture. This is a hibiscus flower. Boop. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not being brand lawyer, but I just wanted to show you the the name of it. I get this from the Hispanic spices section of my a grocery store I go to, and the, actually they're the only ones who carry it. Um. I take that back. Um, you could go probably to an international store and find hibiscus flowers. Lots of cultures drink it. It's a the tea. It has a lot of the highest amount of antioxidants. Um, a man who said he's a doctor on YouTube said. And this is I just do this. I'm just putting them in there. Look. I don't have a lot. I just poured some in there, and they, and there they sit. Oops, and you know, and so I'm putting them in there, and you know what happened? You see, it's turning red. It's going to turn the color of beet juice. <laughs> it is. It's going to be very, 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 very dark. Now, if you wear dentures or something or you have veneers, you need to be careful because whether you put hibiscus in vodka or hot water, if you drink a lot of it, it will stain your teeth blue. So <laughs> it will because I didn't know what was going on and... And I went, I saw this at the dollar store, and I said, I'm going to go ahead and get that. Because I never had any problems with blue teeth before. But it's red. But I guess if you use it as a, um, because you can use beet juice as a pH tester, because when it comes in contact with alkaline or acids it changes color so I think maybe the hibiscus is like that too I don't know I just know I looked and I said I have blue teeth it's just a little bit just enough to catch my eye and I'm like okay amethyst eyes and blue teeth mm, no. so after some baking soda and peroxide brushing and some Whitening, it went away. It was temporary, it went away. But these are my teeth. Um, I don't know about man made materials because usually when you're sipping on something, you're not swishing it around in your mouth. So, just a heads up if you decide to try this, I just want to let you know. So, Oh, while we're sitting here, just us. I put the little bit of my black castor oil right there. So when I'm sitting here, my downtime, my mommy me time, then I can rub that serum that I made on patches that I want to grow. Like at my nape. I, I want that here to grow. Um, I don't have a kitchen. <laughs> it will. It never has actually grown there. 
I used to have eczema so bad that it just it eczema was at that spot and I scratched at it so much and now hair just doesn't really grow there. It, it was because I'm allergic to hair. <laughs> Natural fiber, like hair, it can cause a problem. Actually, I'm allergic to lots of stuff. It comes and it goes. But like I, I remember combing my daughter's hair when she was little. You have something you got to do every day. And um, after a while, I would just get rash on my fingers. So, you know, I really don't know what the problem is. Now... You can use a funnel for this because I'm spelling it. I'm spelling it. But you get the drift. Look, even just like we've been sitting here, it's gotten darker. You can do a whole bottle, a half bottle, whatever you want. Take it out, put it in a carafe, you know, you know, a carafe. And um, you can do it however you want. However, if and if I remember, I'll put a link. If, since this is cocktail hour, if, I don't know what that is, you want, you just do this and use a funnel or something and try to get it in. Every time I try to do this, it just never really works. So I just take my time and I put it in like this. If you care to. Now, I'm going to put um, some Senna tea, uh, one Senna tea bag. One time I put a bag of Echinacea and Golden Seal in here. And if I can remember, I'll put a link to how to make tinctures on this. And you can see what I'm talking about. Um, because this is how you make tinctures. <laughs> and just that people, when they make Tinctures, they usually use 150 proof vodka or corn whiskey or whatever. It's usually 150, 150 proof. So I just rolled it up and did what? Boop. That's how you make tea. So I'm going to have a mixture of hibiscus flour, senna tea. I'm not putting any echinacea in it. I've been drinking the tinctures. Two months or more, and I no longer get a cold, you know, at the drop of a hat. Not really a cold, but sniffles. And this is sage tea. The woman at um, my favorite international store, she told me about sage tea. You, it's sage. She said it's sweeter than regular sage that you cook with, but it looks like the stuff my mom was growing in her garden. Sage. Anyway, I make a tea out of it, and I use that in my kombucha. And um, I decided since I was sticking some flower petals down there, you know, I'm just going to stick some sage. It smells so good. If you like these flavors. Now, see, the hibiscus is sweet. It's almost like a fruit punch sweet without the sugar. Like if you ever had maybe... A long time ago, like a pack of fruit punch Kool-Aid, and you put too much water in it and no sugar, it would not be bitter at all, but it has that that fruity flavor. So, I don't know, I like it, okay? And I found out I like savory, so that's why I'm putting the sage in there, you know? These are dehydrated, but still, I I think that I'm going to, oh, okay. I, was, I just didn't want to spill it all over. This is my quiet time. I've been running around, picking up stuff all week. Even though today was a better day than most. This is like one of the better days of 2015. <laughs> it is. It was one of the better days. I'm not even kidding. I just had some, some time alone and some peace and I got some stuff done. And 
Lord knows I'm not joking. So I'm going to do the same thing with this. Um, anyway, I'm not putting an echinacea tea bag in it. I'm going to give myself a break from that. But like any natural product, you have to keep using it to get the benefit. And when you stop using it, you're not going to have the benefit. So in its place, I started taking biotin. And vitamin C. And that actually has helped quite a bit. So it smells good. Yeah, well, that's, that's enough of that. And so I'm going to try to... Now, I'll let this, you can let this sit like a day or two. And I'm telling you, you know, if you not, if you are not sure, just get a little bit. Now, this has to be an alcohol that you drink anyway. I don't know if it works with brown alcohol. You know, I wouldn't want to sell you brown alcohol, but it just depends. I'm doing vodka right now because it's clear. It's a clear distilled spirit. Um, I don't want any wood risings in my body. I have enough issues going on. And you know, if you are like me, you have issues to, to contend with. If you just you don't want to add to it. You just don't. You don't want to add to it. You know, it's like, do you want to wake the sleeping baby, or do you want to let the baby sleep? You want to keep things to a low roar and. I'm just going to go back to doing this. <laughs> and it's like, I know you're saying, like, oh, you're messing it up. It's not messed up if I drink it and if it's helpful to me. Sage helps um, you get through the night so you're not waking up, burning up a million degrees if you're having hot flashes. It's like, yeah, that would be me. I mean, oh, God, I, was, I could not. <laughs> I just couldn't. It was getting me. <laughs> I'm so happy that lady told me about this. So I brew it with my kombucha and I put it in here and I like the aftertaste. I do. Okay. Since we're just talking like it's me and you. Let's just pretend like we we went out and we decided, well, let's go here for some drinks. Some quiet adult drinks, not what we used to do. We're going to AKAs and Heroes. And, oh, yeah. That's a part of that. That's a part of that. As much as I could be. Okay, I had people who were friendly with me who were part of that, and they took me along. It was still fun. It was so much fun. I was glad to be young when I was young, so I don't have to try to do it now. <laughs> And look, you just give it a shake. Look how dark that is. I got this light, this desk lamp, right up in my face. So, but see, you see how dark it is? It's getting so dark already. It was clear. So and that's it. It went from this to this. And, I, you know, you sip on it. Go get your water kefir. Mine is in the refrigerator. Tonight I'm using kombucha. <sighs> this is the remnant. I don't have another glass in here. This is the remnant. This is my drink from yesterday. I, you know, I'll have something sitting here. It was a dirty martini <laughs> made with Greek olives. And you know, I'm so dumb. I didn't know that those delicious Greek olives had pits in them. But if olives have to have pits in them to taste that good, an olive, I'd never tasted an olive that had that much flavor. It was a real olive. Yeah, when we did Yellow's Night, we, I, I went out. We did the whole thing. It was fun and it was delicious. It was fun having some deliciousness. I don't want to. I don't want to eat the olives right now, though. And I have bits of flour. You might need to strain it you, when you're pouring it. If you're pouring it, get yourself a strainer and strain it to make sure you don't have the bits of flowers. They won't hurt you, but I don't want to. 
eat the bits of flour. I don't know what that is. I don't want to. Okay. Bread. I don't want to eat the bits of flowers. I'm eating the bits of flowers. It's just like straw. It's like eating the tea from the tea bags. You wouldn't want to do it. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't good. So strain it. <laughs> um, you know, some people when you make your wheatgrass, and I do have wheatgrass ice cubes. I think I'm gonna add wheatgrass ice cubes. What do you think? You think I should? I think I will. Because I, uh, this is kombucha with fresh squeezed vegetable juice. Remember, like from this morning, when I have this, my little tincture. Actually, if you go and purchase a tincture, they're pretty pricey. They're like $9 and $10. But like I said, I'm, I'm going to try to remember to put a link to how to make your own tinctures to this. And there's another woman who, where I got this idea, well, I was doing it anyway, but she has a video where she's suggesting that if you like to drink kombucha, you can, you know, have it with your cocktail. It's not harmful. And it's just for those people who are so inclined. If you don't drink, then don't do it. Just have the kombucha. <laughs> I mean, sometimes it's a religious preference. Sometimes it's a societal preference. It's just your personal preference. This is that if you do, to me, this is a healthier way. Because I know alcohol can extract properties from plant life. It's called a tincture. It's just that the alcohol is usually has to be pretty strong. And people have been doing that for hundreds, thousands of years. You know? Um, and then you can take this and pour yourself a couple of fingers and get yourself some wheatgrass ice cubes. Yeah, if, you, if you're going to bother to grow it, and you're not drinking it, you know, right away, go ahead and pour it in some ice cube trays and then you'll have some. Because right now I'm going to take you to where they are. <laughs> this is fun. You guys are fun. I never talked to you guys this late at night. Mm-hmm. Well, come on. Come on. Let's tiptoe out of here and go in there. And don't tell the kids. Oh, they're good kids. I put on. They're just good. They're good kids. <sighs> they don't want to be bothering me either. Mommy gets on their nerves. Mommy, I don't want to eat that. You're in here. You know why I'm in here? Just get a clean glass. Yeah, I didn't want to drink that glass. <laughs> oh, I have glasses. Um, and I kept looking. I had more glasses than what I, but the, stuff disappears in my house. I think my son is breaking it. He's breaking my glasses and, cause I know I had more. I know I did. And the one that I had him decorate for New Year's Eve, I got pens and ink pens and that. Pens and pencils and what have you. Okay, look. Here's my glass. Yeah, we eat rice cakes. Here's my wheat. Wheat grass ice cube. There you go. I only have two left. Oh, God. You know what? I'm glad I brought you guys in here. Because... I'm going to make that soap tomorrow, so guess what I have to do? I have to measure out my liquid. And um, it's going to be 50% coconut oil, 50% shea butter in a liquid with uh, coconut milk as the liquid. and. Um, 
olive oil, 100%. And I'm like, I'm opening this can of um, coconut milk. Should I just use the rest of it, like in the olive oil soap? And I know how my skin is, so yeah, I think I will. I'm going to do that because I have to freeze it. I have to freeze the coconut milk. You can't just use it plain and it get too hot and turn brown and what have you. So, here we go. Look, let me just bring it to you. My live container. All right, look. These are my recipes. And I need, instead of water, six ounces, since I'm going to make it a pound, six ounces of coconut milk. And for the other one, it's the same amount because I'm making one pound each. So zero out my scale and get to pouring. That's grams. Doggy, I'm like, that's not six ounces. There you go. Six ounces. And you put it in the freezer. <laughs> you know? That's where it goes. Just put it in there as carefully as possible. And put the other one. That way I shouldn't have any left. You know, because uh, these bits and pieces, odds and ends of stuff, ugh, you know, after a while. You can make a really good pina colada out of this if you wanted to. An authentic pina colada. Or do you have to use this sweet coconut milk? I don't know. Here's it depends. All right. <laughs> the milk is just to make it extra emollient. The milk is just to make it extra emollient. You're wondering what I'm doing. My daughter asked me to fix her something else to eat and get her another scoop of pizza casserole. And I said I would do that. She asked so sweetly.
because that coconut milk is kind of sort of stuck. And I want hot water to unstick it. Just a little bit. I'm just at three ounces. Six. Six ounces. Then you put this in here. I'm subbing coconut milk for water in my soap recipes. All right? So I made one trip do two things, huh? That's what being mama, DIY mama is all about. Get as much done as you possibly can. <laughs> oh, is anybody going to do it by you? You know, a lot of times you just got yourself involved in stuff. It's just you. If you don't do it, there is no one else to throw, throw it to. It's just you, mom. And that's what this is. DIY mama. Made baby girl something to eat. Got some wheatgrass ice cubes for her friends on YouTube and herself. <laughs> and remember to pour that coconut milk. And you guys were there to see it. So, here we go. Hong Kong. It's the mama bus. Here. Here you go, baby. It's hot. You happy? All right, that's good. Baby's happy. It's always good when baby's happy. All right. Yeah, this is not a good angle for me. All righty. And you know how they finish this? They didn't take that long, right? <laughs> there. And you and I are back. Sitting on the couch or wherever you want to sit. Just doing nothing. And we have our ice cubes. So we're going to pour some of our tincture. <laughs> Look. Just a little. Ah, I forgot to put the dog it. I forgot to put the thingy on. So... Looks like I'm going to be enjoying this one with flowers. Or I could get up and get some more. I, I don't really want to enjoy it with flowers. Yeah, so you, yeah, I'm taking the ice cubes out with my hand. <laughs> Wheatgrass ice cube. And uh, I don't, it's just, it's just that, but I really don't want to, well, anyway, you guys get the whole thing, because I think I got to get up again, and I want to take you through that, and then you just pour your kombucha, there you go. And before you know it, you'll be yarning and going to bed. So until tomorrow, when we're at some point making that liquid soap with the coconut milk, sayonara. DIY Life Hack Mama.